I am uh, at the train station a day earlier than I had originally planned. Uh, there was there's a train strike tomorrow in France, and uh, that's the day I was planning to travel. Luckily, I got an email, and uh, because I had gotten my ticket online and given my email address, I got an email saying there's going to be a strike on the day that you're traveling. Go online and change your ticket. Well, of course, I went online and that didn't work. It never works. <laughs> so I was smart enough to come down here to the train station early, early this morning, uh, a day before the strike, um, and got my ticket changed. Uh, even the agent had a little bit of a problem changing it, so I didn't feel so bad that I, it wasn't me, just me that couldn't change the ticket. So I got a ticket for today, a day early. I will need to add a reservation in uh, a, an overnight lodging reservation in San Sebastian in Spain, uh, but I don't think that's going to be too difficult, seeing as uh, how it's off season. Um, and I lose a night's lodging here in Paris. I couldn't get a refund on what I'd already paid for tonight's lodging in Paris, uh, which was $36. Not horrible, but it doesn't make me very happy. So here I am waiting in the station. Uh, it will be another co uh, couple of hours before the train leaves. I think I'll find myself a sandwich to eat on the train because I'm, I'm very likely to be hungry before noon. And uh, I'll be in Spain by this afternoon. That'll make me happy. I was okay for me to leave Paris a day early. It's just not my city. I know everybody loves Paris. I'm afraid I don't. Andea Station, right near the border of Spain. So it was a little bit of a long journey, but it was very comfortable seats and very smooth and very fast in some places. So I need to go down here and find this Istruxkan train, which will take me into San Sebastian. Let's see what we can find out. They call it the E-Train. Etruscan, I think. We'll find out. Here it is. It's Uskotren. San Sebastian Donostia. That's what we want to take to get to our final place for today. Well, check this out. This is easy. I walked in the station and looks the first, almost the first thing I saw. The machine to get my ticket. Nice. Gare de Hendaya station, I just arrived at. It was very easy. I got my ticket for the train that will take me to San Sebastian. And that train station is, look, it's right here. How easy does this get? When I was here before, I had to take a, a metro station from San Sebastian to the border, and then I had to take a short train from the border at Irun across over here to Hendaya and then take the train to Paris. So this, they've evidently, since I was here before, they have made this a little bit more streamlined. How nice is that? And here's a little train on its way. The next one is at 15.03, so about 10 minutes from now. Nice timing. I am in San Sebastian, Donostia, Basque Country, North, Northern Spain. I've been here before. I recognize those statues over on the bridge. It's exciting to be back in Spain again.
today I am uh, leaving San Sebastian. A few years ago, on this very walkway, I walked leaving San Sebastian. It was in the spring of 2018. Uh, I was with my daughter and we were saying goodbye to each other and saying goodbye to Spain. Uh, and I guess I knew I would be back. So today I'm saying goodbye again to San Sebastian because I was only here a couple of days. I'm on my way to Pamplona today on the train. This is uh, quite a bit, a little bit of an emotional day for me because this is my last train journey of this three month odyssey that I've had. Uh, it's been wonderful and I'm kind of sad that it's my last day despite the ups and downs and a few snafus that have taken place. Um, but it's really wonderful that it is ending in Spain because I I've come to really love Spain in a lot of ways. So before I leave San Sebastian, which I want to tell you, this is a city worth visiting. Just it's quiet, uh, fairly quiet, maybe a little noisier in the summertime. Great place to have tapas, uh, beautiful beaches, uh, nice hikes all around, lots of villages in the neighborhood to visit as well. So I recommend coming here. The thing is, um, I could embark on my Camino from here. This is uh, the Camino that I took five years ago. The no Del Norte begins in Irún, near close to here. Um, but I've already decided to do the Frances. It's my opportunity to do the Frances when it's not so crowded in the winter time. So that's where I'm going. But after watching the ocean waves yesterday for about an hour, I really was kind of wondering if I would rather do a Camino along this beautiful coast. So I'm off now before I get my train, which is at 2 o'clock. Uh, I'm going to go back for the third time to this same cafe bar to have a tortilla and a cafe con leche. Oh, to be back in the world of cafes con leche. Donastia, San Sebastian, train station in the background. Of course, there's a fence in front of it. Every time I want to take a photograph or a video of something somewhat iconic for the purpose of documentation, uh, it seems like there's some kind of tree or traffic or scaffolding or something in the way to mess up my iconic photo. I'll never be an Instagrammer, will I? So this is the last train journey. There is a stop uh, part way to Pamplona. <clears throat> and then I'll be done with trains for a little while. Uh, I won't say that I will miss them, but I kind of will. So here we go. Train leaves at two. I've got a half an hour almost. That's always nice to have plenty of time to figure out things in the station with no panicking. I've learned that from experience, haven't I? Well, you never know when something like this is going to happen. Good reason for getting someplace when you need early. Because I can't figure out how to get down to that platform. I came across from over there, where that red roof is. I came across this walkway, up an elevator, down an elevator. And now I get to figure out how to get over and down to that platform, hopefully without going through too many stairs. But I got lots of time. You see the time there? It's only 10 till 2 and it's, the train doesn't leave till after 2. So, hopefully I have plenty of time. Next station, Alegría Dulanti. This station is provided with a step to cross the railway track. Well, except for my arrival in Pamplona in about an hour and a half, this is the last train station. Uh, I will be, I'm changing trains here to go to Pamplona. I arrived here on a train from San Sebastian. I could have gone on a train directly to Pamplona, which would have taken me a total of, I think, an hour and a half, but I would have had to get up at 0 0000 in the morning, like I think the train left at 7.30 in the morning, which meant I would have had to get up really early, 
uh, get to the station. And then I would have to sat around in uh, Pamplona because my guest house room wouldn't be ready. So I thought, you know what, this is supposed to be a relaxing journey. So I decided to take this kind of long roundabout way uh, to Pamplona. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's really been a lot about the journey of traveling overland for so long, so many, so many miles. I should add up the miles, shouldn't I? Uh, since November when I started, and here it is, the first day of February. It seemed like when I was planning this trip, it was taking forever for the time to get here for me to start it. And now, here I am at the end in a snap, it seems like. It's been a great journey, a great journey. Here comes the last train for this journey from this station to Pamplona. One more hour. I have arrived at Pamplona, the end of my journey and the beginning of the next one.